Um, Good morning, dumb money. It's just me and Jordan here in Dallas today while Dave is on the other side of the world in New Zealand doing I don't know what. He says he's meeting with startups. We'll see if that actually happens. Chris and Jordan are holding down the fort in Dallas, meeting with interesting companies. I'm doing the same thing here, uh, what feels like halfway around the world in Auckland, New Zealand. There happens to be a startup that I wanted to talk to within walking distance of my hotel. We're about to go meet Chris. We are headed to the Capital Factory. Uh, we're gonna meet a company called Hollow Cryptics, holographic DJs. Basically put some equipment in a DJ booth. Uh, they can syndicate a full live DJ experience. So big day here. Hopefully we'll see what Dave is up to as well over in New Zealand. I'm gonna be meeting with a company called Rocco's. It's a software company that helps helps companies keep track of their robots. We'll see how that goes. I'm walking to that meeting right now and I think it's right around the corner. Chris, come on, good to meet you, buddy. I, I love that we're meeting y'all, okay? Because I actually own a restaurant bar that kind of turns into a club every Friday and Saturday night here in Dallas. I, I can't believe how much money we spend on DJs every week. I love them, but I'm like, it's insane how much we spend as a small place on DJs. Why can't there just be a virtual holographic DJ playing the same music? Like I would say this irrationally, and now here it is, right? Is that basically <laughs> what you guys are, right? You guys are. First of all, give me a little of your background. So myself and my co-founder Richard, uh, originally were in the cloud kind of technology industry. We've mm -hmm. kind of built companies that built really big, large, resilient, scalable cloud systems. During that tinkering, it was really a question of, as cloud architects, the first thing you want to do with your robot is connect it to the cloud and start controlling it, yeah. debugging, moving it, those kinds of things. What we found was it was very hard. It was very hard to do that. There was a lot of technology barriers. You needed a lot of expertise to connect robotics up to cloud. And the question for us really long term was, was this going to be a problem? And so we said, look, in the next, you know, what we think is three to five year horizon, they will need to have a centralized system to connect to them and manage them. If your, your customer is a robotics company that has a fleet, how do you, how do you draw that line as, as yeah. to what you do and what they're going to have yeah. to develop on their own. Um, and we see now there's a wave of robotics companies that really want to uh, concentrate their effort on their uniqueness rather than the generic components. Yeah. And you know we think we have a significant contribution to make to startup companies to help them scale much faster yeah. with much better technology that they could build themselves uh, without using a lot of their own money to build the same rails. So basically, wait, you're, you're a hologram-ish DJ? So when we're talking about DJs, so one of the things that, that Fabrizio and myself, we come from the entertainment industry, right? So we're used <clears> to <throat> dealing with very high-end DJs. But we know that that's only like this very small sliver of the market, like how many venues can, can afford that? So what we wanted to do is we wanted to take the quality of a good DJ, and what's the difference between a DJ that comes for $30 and does all night and he delivered pizza before he got there, and a DJ that actually is a professional DJ? How do we avoid that? We take the entire DJ set and we take it to a professional studio and we have it all mastered. So it's all on the same negative 2 dB, all the same RMS. So you don't okay. have that fatigue. So my, my goal is not to replace quality DJs. My goal is to give quality entertainment to those that haven't or don't want to pay for that DJ. But can it be a replacement? For Absolutely. Something? Okay. So, yeah. so this right here, what is it? It's like. The control is in your hands. You choose. If I have a, a Latin crowd that night, I pick a Latin DJ. Instead of some DJ that comes in and is like, man, I really like Ariana Grande and all this stuff, that's what you're getting. The, the holograms, the capturing of the holograms and the way that we create the holograms is Fabrizio. Um, and then we work together with another Canadian company that actually does the, the backbone programming. Um, for the application that we right. use. And so when we tried our alpha test, we, yep. went into, we went into Senior Frogs. Still the first month, they use it about 30 times in the month, right? So they did about 30 shows. In uh, January, the last time I, I pulled a report that I, that I looked at, they did it 114 times. Because 
at one point in time, it gets to be very, very easy for them to yeah. just hit the button because now they understand the system, how it works. Right. So yeah. I, I still have a lot more questions. I want yeah. to let's see it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it tonight. I, hey, guys, congrats. This is, this is pretty sweet. We so. want to see you when yeah. you see the old. Yeah. 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 But I think it's cool is it just gets the wheels turning, right? Yeah. So, there's, you know, I think that's when you know you have something when it sparks a bunch of imagination. So, yeah. global Europe. plot. This totally. Is, this is a global application. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. No doubt yeah. about that. Thank you guys. <laughs> so who is your ideal customer? What, what size fleet is it? If you look at our investment strategy for our investors, we really, in the early days, need to find large fleets to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not particularly profitable to work with, you know, 10,000 startup companies. Um, we need to have a few really large organizations. I'm not familiar with startup, you know, the whole scene in New Zealand. Yeah. Is it, is it Kind of the way I'm used to, where you are involved maybe in an accelerator program, then you have a series C, then A, B, C. Does, yeah. it, does it work the same here? It does, it does, but probably a smaller scale from what you're used to mm -hmm. in the Valley. I think, um, firstly, money goes a lot further in New Zealand in terms of access to resources and support. Uh, there's a lot of research and development grants available from the government and those types of things. Robotics and AI world are, are things that me and my partners are so obsessed with right now, so um, to have the chance to you know, halfway around the world, or at least what feels like it, uh, to be able to meet with a company, it's it's great. Keep us in touch as, as you progress and, and move towards that Series A. Sounds good. I'm so glad I took that meeting. That is fascinating. Essentially building a scalable cloud platform for robotics. My, my first thought was, if you're smart enough to build a robot and have the engineering team to write the software to control all of those parts, do you really need third-party software to keep track of them? There was a time when everyone thought they needed their own server and quickly you realize that Amazon or Google does it way better than you can with a you know, server in the closet that you keep under lock and key. They're betting on the robotics industry experiencing the same thing. So the hologram DJ yeah. was super cool, but I would need to see some major traction there before I was interested to invest. No, it's not bad. I think they'll get um, early traction. I think the biggest concern is, are they going to be able to scale out at you know nationwide? Well, no, level? I, no. I, I, I want to see some sort of representative yep. scalable traction. I can't invest in something that has no track. It's too new. I don't know if it's a novelty or a thing that's going to actually happen at scale. What is their cost of acquiring a new customer versus mm -hmm. their lifetime value? Like, I, I think, think they can get there. I'm just worried about saturation in that and like people getting tired of it. That, I would just want to watch them, right? Yep. I'll just watch them, see how they do. Our hologram DJ company is the entertainment for tonight. I want to see exactly how cool this technology is. Here we go. This looks so cool. Right? It's as good as they said it was. It's actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like, and the music's pretty good too. So, you know, the good mixes. I mean, movements are so natural because you, you don't expect to see a real movement. Like, even the reaction of the people watching it, it's, it's pretty cool to watch their reactions. That's going to do it from here in New Zealand. As always, living up to the. That's going to do it from here in New Zealand. As always, living up to the dumb mon. That's going to do it. <laughs> That's gonna do it from here in New Zealand. As always, living up to the dumb money motto of always looking for interesting investment opportunities. I'm Dave Hansen. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please share. Do all the things, all the things. We really need you. And what better place to continue the search for the next great startup investment? Absolutely beautiful here. We're done, money. We'll see you next time. <laughs>